Hi, I'm Elliot, the IELTS expert at Magoosh. And in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, the process of requesting a rescore from IELTS. You may not even be aware, if you uh, receive your scores from IELTS and you think there's a problem or you were scored incorrectly for whatever reason, you can uh, follow a process to have IELTS take another look at your score and your test to see if there's an issue or a problem. And if, you, if they find that there is, it could result in a different score for you. And so some people pursue that, especially of course, if they believe that uh, they received a score that was too low for a particular section or multiple sections of the test. Now, this is one video that we have on our channel that we're releasing, and we've got a bunch of new videos coming out here uh, uh, in the weeks and months ahead. So if you get something good out of this video, make sure that you go down and subscribe to our channel because that's gonna be the best way to get uh, first in line to our new videos as we put them out on our channel uh, in the next weeks and months ahead. All right, so uh, get down there and subscribe to that channel. And also, if you like the videos you're seeing, uh, hit that like button. That, that lets us know what you're thinking about the videos as well. All right, but let's get into the topic of our video here, which is uh, requesting score uh, rescores from IELTS. All right, now the first thing to know is, if this is something you're considering, uh, if you've received your scores, you think there's a problem of some kind, you want to, you want to request a rescore. Um, there's a very specific process to follow. Okay, and I'm not going to go into all of the details of that process, but um, I have put down below in the description uh, a blog post that we put out that does describe the process of requesting a rescore. So if you make your way through this video to the end and you decide, yes, this is something I wanna do, uh, follow those steps, go to that resource and follow those steps that are there, okay? I wanna focus in this, in this video on some other considerations you should think about uh, related to rescore, okay? So point number one, if uh, you think that any of the four sections of the test were uh, problem scored in a problematic way, you, you disagree, you think your score was too low or maybe they made a mistake, it is possible on IELTS to request a rescore for any of the four sections, okay? Uh, some other tests only limit you to the sections that they allow you to request a rescore for, but for IELTS, you can request for all four. Um, however, you need to keep in mind that requests for rescoring are rarely successful uh, in any of the four sections, but especially for the listening and reading sections. And that's because um, the listening and reading sections are, tend to be questions that are more multiple choice style, or at least the answers uh, uh, are uh, much less complicated to score than the uh, speaking and writing sections where they use a rubric or those band descriptors. And there's a lot of subjective sort of um, uh, scoring related to the uh, grading criteria that uh, IELTS uh, puts out for both the uh, writing and the speaking sections. Okay, reading and listening, it's, uh, it, it's a, a score sheet or it's even graded on a computer if you're taking the computer-based version and it's uh, much less likely that it's going to lead to an error. Okay, so if you think your uh, listening or reading score is too low, go ahead. If you think it's going to benefit you and you might get a better score, you can submit that rescore request, but um, just keep in mind, it's, it's much less likely to be successful than uh, writing or speaking rescore requests. Um, now, having said that, as I mentioned just a moment ago, even in the speaking and writing sections, rescore requests are, are rarely successful, okay? So uh, it, it's, there's not a high rate of success with this process, uh, but it, it certainly does happen. Uh, you know, keep in mind, the IELTS scores millions of tests every year. And it serves, it stands to reason that there are going to be mistakes every now and then, okay? But most, it, it, most successful rescore requests only uh, end up uh, leading to, let's say, a half point difference in scoring, okay? It, it tends uh, to not happen that we see really big changes in people's score after a rescore re request. So, if you got uh, a score that's like two points, two band scores below the score you really need, and you know you think there's a mistake, uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend uh, a rescore process as the best way to recover those two points. Okay, if you now if you really think there's an error and you you know you were practicing or you've received feedback or maybe you've taken the test before and you, uh, your score you received on your most recent attempt was way lower than what you were expecting, 
or uh, that you have uh, received higher scores in the past and you didn't feel like you did anything significantly different this time, um, then it could be worthwhile. And it's not impossible that you could get a significant score increase uh, if they take another look at your test. So the basic message here is that rescoring is not a process that works all the time. If, re if they take another look at your uh, uh, test and they decide there was an issue, the most likely outcome is that you're going to get a small uh, increase in your score, a half band point or so. Um, but if you feel that there's a big issue and uh, there was a major mistake made, you still should consider rescoring as an option because uh, it is in theory possible that, uh, that they did make a big mistake. Okay, it does happen, it's not unheard of. All right, just needs to be, it's important to be realistic about things. There's more to consider though, if you're thinking a rescore, uh, thinking about a rescore request. You know, many, many students have very tight timelines uh, that they need to keep, that they need to uh, submit their scores for in terms of like, application deadlines and things like that. So, you know, you, you may not have enough time to successfully get through the rescore process. Uh, the rescore process tends to take about six to eight weeks. And for some people, that's going to be too long. That's going to be too late. All right. And so um, you, you may need to consider a different option. We'll talk about some different options later in this video. Uh, but uh, rescoring will not occur immediately. Right. And so you need to uh, keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that there is a deadline uh, by which you need to uh, submit your rescore request. So, um, uh, you have a, a maximum of six weeks after you've taken the test to submit your rescore request. All right. And so when you think about it, uh, if you take the paper based version of the test, uh, you're going to get those exam results uh, almost two weeks, about 13 days after you take the test. If you take the computer based version, you'll get it faster. But the clock starts on uh, the day you take the test, that six week clock. And so you really only have about four weeks or slightly more if you take the computer based version uh, to submit that uh, rescore request. All right, so you can't wait. You can't wait too long uh, it, it, after you've taken the exam to submit that request and after you've seen your scores. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind. Timing is important for this process. Um, cost and expense is also something con to consider. If you want to request a rescore, you're going to have to check with your local exam center. There are some different policies here and there uh, in different exam cent centers, but uh, it's it, it can be quite expensive to request a rescore. It's not a free process and the expense involved can sometimes be as much as actually you know, what you paid to take the test originally. And so for a lot of people, that's just really unappealing, right? You don't want to throw a lot of money away, if, if, especially if you think, you know, it's a borderline case or you're just looking for that extra half point or something like that that you think might be incorrect. Is it, is it worth putting the money towards uh, the request? Okay, so uh, if you, you know, if you have a very serious concern, if you really think there's a problem with your score, it's probably worth the money and you might get a successful result out of that. But if you're, if you're uncertain about it, uh, the money uh, could be a factor in uh, making a decision about whether you actually move forward and submit that request. All right, so just keep that in mind that, that it's not free, that you have to, that you have to pay something to, to make it happen. Okay, now I wanna suggest one final uh, option. You know, if you, if you received your scores, and you think there's a problem, or if you just didn't quite get the score you need, uh, that's another reason why sometimes folks consider a rescore process. Um, it may actually be your, the best use of your time and effort to take the test again. Um, and retaking the test is your other option for getting the score you boost that you need. And especially if you think, you know, maybe the, the score wasn't incorrect. Maybe I just didn't do my best uh, in whatever section of the test, or maybe I got unlucky and I, got, I had some extra tricky questions or some words I just didn't recognize. And maybe I, yeah, I'm practicing and I'm doing better than I got on these scores. And so, you know, I really believe in myself that I can do better the next time. That, if that describes you, then you may uh, be better served by taking a retake instead of requesting a rescore, okay? Retakes uh, are also cost money, of course. You have to put 
additional time into preparing again and going through all the steps and, and a lot of people find that unappealing but it could be the best way to get the score you need and especially as we were talking about earlier if your timing is tight and if there's availability um, in exam centers near you it may actually be the faster option for you if um, if you need a score to, uh, submitted by a very specific time, if your applications are coming due soon. Um, so it could be a faster way to go about it. All right, so those are the thoughts I wanted to provide on uh, requesting a rescore. It's definitely not an easy decision. It's not a cheap decision either. It's, it's one you need to consider carefully. So I hope this video helped you to think through some of the things you need to know about. And a reminder, uh, if you need uh, to know the specific steps to request that rescore, check that resource down below. Uh, it's, a, it's published on our blog. We've got a lot of other great stuff on our blog as well. And you should also check out Magoosh IELTS. If you're studying for the test uh, and you know, maybe you didn't get that score you need and you need to boost your score more. We've got a lot of great stuff for our students at Magoosh IELTS. We've got uh, speaking grading, interview grading that we offer in our plans now. That's in addition to essay grading. We've got live classes, video lessons that you can watch anytime, practice questions. So lots of great resources for you to check out uh, at Magoosh. So make your way over there if you still need to study for the exam. Um, and like I said at the beginning, we've got lots of other videos coming out in the near future. So make sure to subscribe to our channel here uh, to get all those videos as they come out. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next videos.